Good evening, FlossTube. How's everybody doing? It's Annie, Joyfield Stitcher here with another weekly update. This is FlossTube number 24. It is Friday, October the 25th, and it is another late one. Um, so let's first say to those who are returning for another weekly update filled with fun stitching, chatting, stash, plans, all the good stuff. I'm so happy to have you back. I'm glad you heard something you liked or saw something you liked or enjoyed my rambliness and decided to come back and spend another week with me. If you are new here, um, don't know how you found me, maybe you somebody recommended me or you just hap I popped up or who knows how that happened. But however it happened, I am thrilled to have you here. I again am Annie. I am the Joy-Filled Stitcher. Uh, that is my handle here on FlossTube as well as on Instagram. And this is my 24th weekly update. So, a couple of things going on this week. One moment though first. Had to check on the kiddo and then I turned the monitor down. Um, so, uh, Joy-Filled Little One is as I will affectionately call her is here at home this evening my mom who she usually stays with on Friday evenings was not feeling well and ended up going home from work with a fever with a mild grade fever so plans changed we're at home we had a good evening at home I got some more stitching in I was able to get all of the comments recorded and all of that for the giveaway which is coming here very shortly in this video and so yeah so First things first, let me grab my notebook. I totally left it over here. <clears throat> so, in, I'm still playing catch up on my floss tubes. Um, I love Michelle Bendy Stitches and I always watch all of her videos. And one of her videos, she was sharing that her little booklet that she keeps with her floss tube notes in it she was like getting to the end of it and she had you know made I don't even know I don't think it was a whole year's worth but a very large number of her floss tube information was in that book and I thought okay that's really cool because granted I have all my videos that I could go back and watch them but like to have just a one page of hey what I chat about what was I working on you know anything what was I watching who was I watching what kind of stash did I get just basic gist of everything I thought that was a great idea and I was like okay well I'm sure I have a journal around here somewhere where well that leads me to like this is an early stash I forgot to share these I think I've had these now for over a week and forgot to share them and I'm sad about it because they're awesome so I knew that um, Amanda May of Artist Design did notebooks as well and she does them through Amazon I will link this in the description box below. Um, I did a real good job of all my show notes last week. It just took me a bit to get them there. It took me like a couple of hours because there was a lot in that video. And I'm hopeful this one won't be as long. But if it is, it's going to be jam-packed and awesome. And I hope you stick around. I mean, this is, this is me showing some confidence. Fake it till you make it, right? Fake it till you make it. Okay, so I had already determined I needed some kind of something because I've started kind of charting some ideas that I had for my own patterns. I don't honestly know if I'm going to end up selling them. I know I've talked about, oh, I get this one hung up. Um, this is, I know the plans I have for you, Jeremiah 2911. This was done completely in Mrs. Seda silk. Got that one hung up. I got Hermione put up right here. There's Bob Ross penguin right there. That was made by joy filled little one. She is quite the creative one herself. And then I kind of, I'm going to kind of swivel so you can see, I kind of did some fun stuff in my stitchy area. I have some color and cotton floss hanging on some hooks, and I have some other hooks right here to include. And then I've got, let's see if I can do this this way. There we go. I've got some more ribbons that I can put some of my stitchy things, and then I have a couple of my stitchy, stitchy other things there. So, ooh. Was like an earthquake. earthquake. Okay, so anywho, back to what I was saying. I knew that I needed something to keep track of the patterns that I wanted to stitch, and then I also was like, hey, you know, let me see what else she has. 
Prices are super awesome. Um, I think she is self, she self prints these. So the first one I got, this is a cross stitch graph paper notebook and it's 60 by 90 grid graphing paper for charting needlework patterns. And she has lots of different, pa different like covers, but I thought this one was fantastic. It's like this cherub on a chariot being pulled by butterflies and moths. And so I got this one and I will show you not the ones with the patterns, but inside you've got grid paper. So yeah, Sue, so I have some of the ones that I'm thinking about. I'm putting ideas in here. I've got a couple that I want to stitch myself. So yeah, I got this one. And then I also ordered at the same time because you know, when you're ordering from Amazon, nothing can travel alone from Amazon. Plus, you know, why? Why? I had gotten this one that is a smaller size and this is called the Floss Tube and Stitch Journal. And this is a 100 page blank grid gra or blank graph paper notebook for cross stitch and needlework, art ideas and inspiration. And I love her illustration. She does illustrate a lot of her items. Um, with all the different ways to have your flosses done. And so what I did was I said, this is going to be my floss tube journal and show notes. And so here is today, all on one page. We got to look, we got a lot to talk about. First, however, we are going to do a bit of a life update and then I'll go ahead and do the giveaway. I won't make you wait till the end. As I know some of you are so excited and I'm excited. So first, let's see what happened this week. Hmm. Oh, on Tuesday, we went on a super awesome field trip. Um, I went on a field trip with my daughter and in second grade, the, they go to um, a wildlife preserve that's close to us. It's called Fossil Rim. It's about an hour away. It's an 1800, 1800 acre, something like that, wildlife preserve where they allow animals to um, Rome and like a natural habitat. Texas is kind of grasslands. So we saw zebras. We saw wildebeest. We saw black rhinos or red rhinos. We saw rhinos of two kinds. Very cool close up. And you go, you can go in your own car or since we were with the school, we got these like safari. They like took buses, turned them into off-road vehicles, removed all the windows and it has a roof. And then they give you these cups of animal food to toss out well let me just tell you ostriches are like have to be somehow related to velociraptors because that thing was like <laughs> and he was very clear like do not let them see your cup like hide your cup and don't put it in your hand like the only animal we got to hand feed was a giraffe i hand fed a giraffe like check that off the bucket list i didn't know it needed to be on my bucket list until this and uh, it was amazing. Like a giraffe this close to my face. How cool is that? So anywho, ostriches, you had to like put your pellet up on the side of the bus and move your hand like immediately because that thing would peck, peck you. Peck, 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 peck. Um, amazing. We saw emus, much more gentle animals. Um, lots of deer, cheetahs. They actually are able to have a budding population of cheetahs, even though every zoo, the zoo association said there's no way. It is a complete nonprofit. Like, that is amazing. The owners of the land donated it to a nonprofit. That's pay it forward there. That is kindness right there. So, anywho, that was super fun. Weather was beautiful. We um, had kind of a cool front come through. We had some big old storms on Sunday night. In fact, we had a tornado blow through Dallas. Um, and a couple, I'm, we're to the west of Dallas. Um, we got some pretty big winds and a lot of rain, but we did not get a tornado. We've had a tornado come through um, Fort Worth and it was about 20 years ago. Um, and so then we are fully encroached in fall now which is wonderful. The weather was beautiful on Tuesday. It rained all day yesterday, like like gully washer rain. And it was about noon on, I shouldn't say all day. Gully washer rain. It's been misty and drizzly all the day, all day today. I don't think it got above 50. And so it's kind of chilly. And we are not turning on our heat in our house. We're not ready yet because we're in this weird 
funky weather where like it could be 50 today and 90 tomorrow. That's just, that's Texas for you. So we um, do not have the heat on. So I am sitting under my heating blanket. It's not that cold. I do still even have my fan going, but it is what it is. I do wear wool socks though with my slippers because hashtag my feet are always cold, which is bizarre because I'm really not. All right, so fall is finally here. I can stop rambling about it being hot, although I might be next week. You never know. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway. So I, for my 300 subscribers, which I am nearing 400, I am going to, my next goal will be 500 subbies. So when I have 500 fun floss tube friends, I will do another giveaway and I already have somebody who's approached me about maybe including something awesome for that 500 sub giveaway. So let's get there. We've still got a ways to go. I think I'm like 140 away from that. So I am giving away a copy of this pattern, the PDF pattern of I Know the Plans I Have for You, Jeremiah 2911. I stitched this in Mrs. Sadoff silk in popcorn and I had two skeins. I only used not even one maybe like five eighths of one, no, six eighths of one, three quarters of one. And so I have the other one that you will be getting. You will also be getting this beautiful piece of 14 count Ada from Mystic Fabrics, who I am obsessed with. And this is Uni Poo. I don't know that this would be the best to stitch on this, but I think they're amazing and they're adorable and they're two of my favorite things, so I'm gonna share. And then I housed my project in this pouch, which I, sewed out of some Tula fabric that I've had for quite some time since my um, scrapbooking days. It has Tula on the inside. So you will be getting the pouch, the fabric, the one skein of Mrs. Sadoff silk, which everybody should stitch with at least once in their life, if not more. She even makes an appearance in this video because I hashtag can't stop, won't stop. And then you get a copy, a PDF sent to you of that pattern, which is my design. So there were 36 people who commented, shared what brought them joy, and wanted to win this goodie, goodie package. So here's how it's going to work. I am going to real quick do a number generator, 1 through 36. I will find the name on the list that that coincides with, and I will be contacting you. I will comment on your comment with my email address which um, then you will contact me with your mailing address and I will get it sent out to you ASAP. So we are going to look up a random, I could have had this done faster, but you know. So we are gonna do one through 36. It already had four up there. Let me get this in focus first. Hello, come on. So we got one through 36. Everybody see one through 36. Generate number 17. So number 17 on my spreadsheet is Leslie Patterson. So Leslie Patterson, congratulations. Thanks for watching. Thanks for seven. And I will be contacting you shortly for me to send you these goodies. And I will need a good email address to be able to send that uh, PDF to you. So let's put that back there because we done with that for right now. All right, so where are we gonna go next? Oh, Stitchy Kindness. So I sent a gigantic pack, priority mailer of fabric to Michelle Whitehead. She's a longtime viewer, awesome stitcher, loves 16 and 18 count Ada, just like me. And since I have started to expand my collection to include more linen, I'm running out of room in my drawers. So I took some pictures of some stuff and said, hey, do you want this? And she was like, sure, I'll pay you. I was like, nope, not mm, mm, mm. because Jennifer Upton sent it to me and Jennifer Upton paid it, said, pay it forward. I don't even know if she said that, but she said, stitchy kindness. So I was like, stitchy kindness, here you go. So she said, nope, I'd feel better if it's a swap because she had some linen that she was wanting to, um, that she was thinking she'd work with, but didn't really work out. And I said, sure, I'll take it. Like, if that, if that makes you feel like, I don't even need you to feel anything. I want you to enjoy what I send you because I have too much. So she sent me a cute little package with some goodies in it and a little extra sussy. And then today, Michelle, 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 Michelle. 
she sent me an email and said, hey, did you get my other surprise yesterday? And I was like, no, I got some stitchy mail. My stash is insane tonight. She said, and I said, well, maybe today. And I happened to be looking through my email and I checked hers first. And then I saw one from 123Sitch and it said, you know, in the little preview, it said something about someone wants to, you said, da, 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 da. It's like, what? Open it up. That girl sent me a virtual gift card to 123Sitch. You, you an awesome person, girl. You're awesome. But that wasn't the whole point. The whole point was for me to not buy anything else. <laughs> Although she had a wonderful idea of maybe getting a little kit to teach my daughter. Because they have some little beginner kits. Um, I also asked her, hey, what's your favorite designer? And she said, Glendon Place. But she has lots. And I said, okay. Because I got some of those on my wish list. So we'll see. I may not be buying anything right now. I don't. I need to look at the terms and see if there's expiration date. All right, so in other, in other news, before I show this, real quick, because I'm noticing them myself, I do have some new color street. This is Russian Around, and it is kind of like a black navy base with red glitter, and I'm obsessed. P.S., some people messaged me and asked to share my party link for my color street. I included it in the description box of my previous video, but I will also include it here. In case you're interested in getting some Color Street and trying them, they're always buy three, get one free. And I'd love for you to get hooked on them like I am. <laughs> love ya. Okay, so she sent me, let me show you what she sent me in addition to the gift card. Because she'd be awesome. She had some rolled, and so she took them out of the tubes and then she attached the little tubey bits. So this is a piece of 28 count linen. I am going to play around with this and try some writ dye on it. And then if, hey, if you want it back, Michelle, after I dye it, I will totally send it back to you. And then this is some Irish linen in 28 count. Again, I'm gonna get some dye going on that. Then we've got some Monaco, 28 count Monaco. Never stitched on Monaco. Gonna play around with some dyes on that. And then we've got some more 28 count Irish linen. So I'm excited to jazz those up a bit, see what I can play around with. And then, no, because I need more floss. Yes, I do. Almost. She said she loves Jodri. Is it Jodri? Designs. So she sent me like five skeins of Jodri designs. And they have the cutest names. Like this one is Glenda the Good. I need, I'm going to, um, put these on they've kind of some have come untwisted I'm gonna put them on uh, bobbins this one is Aurora Australis super cute this one is pale peacock and I love this look at that oh I love it love it I love it this one is oil and smoke it's a unique color I haven't considered that color palette before that color combination and this one is not in Kansas anymore. So I like this one too. So cute. And so Jodri Designs, I'm not familiar, but they are, it does look like based on their website that they are a UK company because it has .UK on the end. Um, so yeah, thank you, Michelle. You rock, you rock, you rock. And hey, when I do end up spending my one, two, three stitch and it does come in, I'm gonna share it here so that everybody else can see it all right so we've talked update we've talked stitchy kindness let's talk some whips so and all my information on my whips will be in the description box below um, as best I can it will not be until after this is uploaded and hopefully last week is not an indicator of where things are going with YouTube because it literally took so my my video was my movie I almost said movie my video was an hour and 19 minutes and it took it was after midnight when it was uploaded so it took over four hours like I literally left it on my bedside table turned off the screen lock so it would just continue to upload 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 and it took a hundred years which to me in internet terms five hours Four hours is a hundred years like really I have really good Wi-Fi you wouldn't have known it okay so this project is my is my hoity-toity my long dog sampler hashtag hoity-toity silky sow 
and um, my, my dear friend, Creatively Yours, Debbie, is also stitching this. And we have challenge accepted. We are both trucking along on this. Um, she, she's approaching it in a slightly different way. Um, she's stitching the black as she goes. I'm kind of doing sections of all the color and then filling in the black, which is kind of where I've gotten today. I'm loving that. So this lives in a diddly daddle bag with the cute little, I think it's a macaron, macaron, macaron. Looks like a cookie. Um, don't eat that cookie. Um, diddly daddle bags on Etsy. Diddle, diddly daddle designs. Love them. Love them. I have more to show today because I get problems. Problems. So this is still on my Q-snap, my 8 by 11 Q-snap. And this is where we are. I love it so much. It hasn't gotten much more. I'm still working on a homework task with this. I think I finished my magical stitches task from last week on this. Somewhere in this green tree with the scallop grass. And then I have it plugged in for a task this week. And it's the last one that I did. I think I was saving the best for last. So we save the best for last. So I'm filling in this black. And look at that. Look at those colors. Just, boom. it's like 3D. It's like that leaf is popping, popping, popping off. And um, I'm loving the green. How I changed the green. And so I have slotted, I think, like from here about here in the black to satisfy that task so I am using this for magical stitches this week um, I'm not going to share exactly like and in fact this one since I stopped to work on is going to go over there not in my I have like a tub over here and then now I have a tub over here because I have places I need to put things all right so this bag is empty this bag goes over there all right so next I started something on Sunday. I'm still in my in my my birthday bonanza starts. And so this is by Tempting Tangles and this is called Echoing Evergreens. And so this was a stitch along that there was a three colors of green. Three colors of green dinky dyes. Um I chose to completely go off wherever with this. I have this beautiful piece of Opalescent Ada, 18 count, from Under the Sea Fabrics that I got as a mystery Stitcher's 8 back in the spring. I haven't had any clue what I was going to do with it. Well, the name of it is Evergreen. And so I knew I wanted to do something totally different with this project. So guess what? I'm stitching Echoing Evergreens on here with nowhere close to what it was called for. So I am stitching this in three colors. I am stitching this in these three colors, which is Spring Columbines, Country Violets, and Burning Bush from Victorian Motto. Those are replacing the three original greens. Then my initials and the date in this, because it's got samplers, will be in shades of wine, also by Victorian Motto. So I'm excited about this one. And this lives in... A Love You More Studio Co. pouch. This was also, this also housed a different project that got UFO'd. No regrets. No regrets. I'm not missing it at all because I got this awesome project in there. So I'm loving this. I love Tempting Tangle designs. I'm so happy I found them. The problem is they keep releasing new stuff. New start. Sorry, you have to see the top of my head. All right, so then. I decided to use, oh, that was for magical stitches as well, for homework. I don't remember the task. Um, I'm sure I have it written down in my other notebook, but that just didn't have here. So I decided for one of the magical stitches tasks to use my Noah's Welcome Bat. This goes along with, this is a freebie off of Plum Street Sampler's website that coordinates with their Noah's Christmas arc. And so I am starting this whole series for my mom I'm um, giving them to her for Christmas, probably two a year. Um, but I am starting with the welcome mat this year. And so I now have all the words. Please pipe hooves, paws, and feet. Well, I don't have all the words because I don't have welcome. But I am loving this. This is on a piece of 36 count by R&R &R in Stars Hollow Blend. And I will be stitching all of them on the same thing. So I put in about 200-ish. Stitches. Now, while I have this out, I also 
decided to, hey, there was one of the tasks I'm about has water in it. And I have a couple that have water, but I don't want to stitch on them. And I, I needed to get this one started because the other one I'm planning to give my mom this year is the Crocs, the crocodiles. So I have now in my in my whips, Noah's Welcome Mat and Noah's Crocs. That's what I'm putting Noah's Crocs. Not like Crocs the shoes, but okay. Anyway. So I have a fairly decent start on this and I love it. So far I am obsessed. And I'm stitching this in the DMC conversion. I am not doing fancy flosses. And again, this is on that 36 count stars hollow bloom by R&R. &R. And I love it. You know, I sat through so many videos and said, I'll never stitch on linen. I could never do it. Like, eight all the way. No linen for me. I'm eating. Oh, those words. Eating them all. Because I am loving this. Anything I've started on linen, I am obsessed with. Loving, obsessed. I still love my Ada. Do not get me wrong. Now, here's what's going to be the problem. If I start laughing, you can weep too. Because I don't have drawer space. Like, I have that awesome Ikea Alex drawer. Well, I've already had to, like, consolidate all the Ada so that now I can have linen drawers. Yeah. This lives in a Be Crafty bag. I sent this fabric to her contacted her through Facebook and this has all my materials and the 6x6 six six snap, which is new part of my stash remember last week I said I couldn't find the clip I was like let me get on Amazon they were on a good deal I ordered another 6x6 six six, and it will now live in this pouch forever until this series is done awesome so I'm trekking along those are stitching it faster than I thought they were going to um I think what's going to be the hitch and the giddy up is the checkerboard border We'll see. Okay, so then I spent some time. This is in a diddly daddle bag as well with the little birds, and it has two different birds because it's all about the details. This is my, this is my, this is my, where's my paper? There it is. Cricut Collection playing with Jacks. Hashtags, hashtag play Jack Sal. So this is the original pattern. I am doing the Harvest Pumpkin, not Harvest, and I called it Harvest last week. It is not Harvest Pumpkin. It is a Forest Pumpkin. This is a free, um, a free, I think they said, hey, either stitch it here. It fits perfectly where this, where Jax is. I think this is, must be Jax. Um, so it's really playing with Forest Pumpkin for me. Or you could do as an ornament. And I thought, okay, cool. But I like it in the middle. So I am um, following along with the Sal. Um, I know that Two Martini Stitcher Erin is doing it. I know I've seen her progress. And in fact, I'm using the same fabric as her, as well as the same silken colors. I know Debbie over at Creatively Yours. Like, we're a gang of awesome stitchers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So we got Hoity Toy. We got Play With Jacks. We got all these awesome projects. So this is being stitched. I need to take, I'm going to remind myself. Reminder, Annie, I need to take a picture of this because I forgot to after I put in these stitches and I need a, a finished photo for Enchanted Stitching. For Enchanted Stitching. So I have two leaves. I think this is actually the end of this leaf. And so this is on 32 count. Picture this plus in Valor. Love. And this is the Silken Colors Autumn, 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 Autumn. Autumn foliage. I think it's autumn foliage. Autumn foliage. Is that what I'm saying? It's beautiful. This is a 12 ply silk. Is that right? I believe so. 12 ply silk. Beautiful. And I got that off of 123 Stitch. So, yep. Yeah. And this is another Diddly Daddle Designs bag. And I already said that, but I think I said that. But I'm not sure. So, I was going to say it again. All right. So, then. I say then a lot. I started I sure three other things this week. I think I'm officially at 15 starts for October. I'll let you know next week. Because I know I have another one this weekend. So I had been wanting to start this one. This is by Sapphire Mountain Crafts. And it is um, the Pride and Prejudice Sal. I am doing the beginner version. I liked the smaller scale of it just to have some smaller projects in my back pocket. 
so this one is hashtag stitching book club and I think she has plans to do this for um, other books after Pride and Prejudice so this one is living in a cute little canvas pouch that my daughter painted for me and it's so cute so this one I am stitching in the called for which is literally like six colors six colors of DMC and I'm stitching this on that 20 count petite point petty point petty point the dotted the polka dotted Ada so this is a 20 count and it's still on the little hoop so I have eyed eyed and I love how cutesy tiny delicate those stitches are so I have a start on this um so yeah just a little fun project to have in my back pocket um I am listening along every now and again to Pride and Prejudice I've seen the movie um, I have never read the book, so but I am listening to it on um, Audible. So I've got this one. I think I gave you all the details on that. Okay, so then this was a Sapphire Mountain week because I started another Sapphire Mountain. And in fact, I was a day late on starting this because for some reason, both of her patterns would not cooperate with GoodNotes or my Google Drive on my iPad. And I think it's because my iPad is becoming ancient. I mean, it's sad that technology that's only a couple years old is now considered ancient. But it it really is. So finally what I did was I pulled it up <laughs> on my computer and took a screenshot of the file. Like, just as a working copy. And then I loaded those in. So now it's working. Um, so this is the Autumn Sampler Banner. And so this is a kind of a newer pattern for her. She stitches a lot on 14 count. Um, and this says, harvest ends and we give thanks. And of course it has acorns, it has squirrels, it has autumn leaves and trees and pumpkins and Quakery motify type things. So I'm excited about this. I am stitching in Victoria Motto that is close to the colors, the called for colors. So this is my palette, it is only five colors. That is one thing that I love about her patterns. They are minimal in terms of the amount of so this is on a piece and this one lives in just a plastic bag although I've got some bags that it might get to move into we'll see this is on a piece of mystic fabrics 18 count inveteris which is a perfect piece so this is a full piece I started in the middle with one of those trees the, I think there's three trees across the middle so I have the basis of a tree I used this for one of the tasks in 24 hours of cross stitch acrostic and so um yeah I'm almost finished with all of those as well I need to take a few pictures and then I have a couple more stitches to put in a few things and I think I'm done for the month on that one which will be good now if I can get it all posted that would be great because um Thursday I got blocked on Facebook because apparently I was posting too quickly on my own post that is nonsense. Like, I'm sorry. I get those algorithms and things are all there for a reason. But like, shouldn't exclude posting things on your own post? Like I was in updating my homework on magical stitches and on enchanted stitching challenges. And because I'm a little bit fast, I suppose. So today I was going, I finally got unlocked. I got out of jail. I was in jail. I got unlocked and so then I was like okay I'm gonna post a picture and then I would do something else and then I come back and post a picture and then I do something else it was frustrating but I know from being in magical stitches and how our graders would get locked in jail that each time it becomes longer and longer so like the more times you get locked in jail the longer your t your sentence is and I don't want to be in Facebook no, like Garone, he's passed. Garone taught in bags, get posted tomorrow. I can't not post. I can't not comment. <sighs> Stress. Okay, so in that, I fear, hey, I just talked about Garone taught in bags. Okay, so I have my Downton Abbey bag. This is a Garone taught in bag. Love it. He is putting them up tomorrow. I shouldn't tell you because then that's more thwarting of me. But you know what? I don't need any because I'm going to show you why I don't need any because I got hashtag too many project bags. I don't have too many. I bought too many. Like all at one time. 
Or they all came at one time. I didn't buy them all at one time. They all came at one time. Anyway. Okay, I used this for a task in uh, Magical Stitches and Enchanted Stitching Challenges. I'll link both groups below. This is my Downton Abbey piece. I love me some Downton Abbey. It is on gold paper because at the time I was out of white paper. I'm stitching this in the called for DMCs. This is on a piece of, and I think I have the tag in here. I thought I did. I guess I don't. This is a piece of Picture This Plus 16 count in Sprite, which is kind of a lavender color. So I now have, I have now reached this far wall. Um, this is nearly the top of this tower. So, um, and this is the center line. So it's to there, and then we'll come over here. So I'm loving this piece. I am doing kind of a color completion, so I'm going to be doing all the stitches in this color, and then going back in and do it, choosing another color, another color, until they're all done. And I kind of liked doing that on this, because then I have a guide for when I go into some of the other colors by having this as like the foundation. So my bag is insanely large for what is in here, but I don't care because I love it and I'm so excited. Yay! So, so and then, so and then, all right. I did some time, I did some time in Facebook jail and then when I, while I was in Facebook jail, I did some time in my Artist Design Acorn Assortment. This is a Man Amazed, beautiful pattern. I love this. It is being stitched in a conversion by me that just looks very close to either the DMC or the Gentle Arts that she recommends. I just chose to not buy anything else for once. And so yeah, I put in a bunch in this green. This is the green I talked about last week that might be my most favorite green ever. This is Squash on the Vine by Victorian Motto. So yeah, look at that. It's got golds and greens and it just variegated up so beautifully. And then this Gentle Arts Red Plum is awesome. I love it. And this is on a piece of 18 count Mystic Fabrics in Snurt. I love me some Mystic Fabrics. I got more fabrics to show this week. Only two of which are Mystic. <laughs> All right, last whip. Last whip. Last whip. And we're only at 37 minutes. The problem is stash usually ends up being the longest part. So it's a new start. This lives in a Love You More Studio Co. pouch with this majestic unicorn on it. Amazing. And this is one that I think somebody's doing a sale on. I don't remember who. This is Plum Street Samplers Harvest Delivery. I'm stitching this on a piece of hand dyed by Stephanie, 16 count, and Briar Rose. And I just started this tonight, so I do not have much. I worked on this while we were watching some Smurfs. We watched Blackbeard's Ghost, though, first. Anybody ever remember Blackbeard's Ghost? It's a Disney movie from, like, back in the 60s, maybe, or the 70s. Oh, so good. So good. Like, live action live action around the same time that like flubber came out and some of those other ones and incredible mr limpet and all of those such a good movie if you have not watched it it is on amazon to purchase for not very much um used to watch it literally on the daily because my brother was obsessed and it's such a good movie it's such a good movie. and i've gotten my daughter hooked on it i love her taste in movies she loves blackbeard's ghost um, she loves Annie. She, I mean, she does love the Descendants movies, but like, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty good. Her newest one is Hello Dolly. Like, yes, yes, child, you are amazing. Okay, so anyway, 16 Count Hand Dyed by Stephanie and Briar Rose. This was a Fabric of the Month by Needlecraft Corner, and I have a bit of a start. This is the center line right here. Got two leaves and the beginning of the wagon. I am using this for a task in 24 hours of cross stitch, a cross stick. So I got some more stitches and I am using the Victorian Man Victorian Manor. Where did that come from? Victorian
Victorian motto. She created um, a set for this, and I shared this in my video where I shared all of my starts, my birthday starts. I also possibly showed it when I purchased it. I can't remember that, but I do know that I showed this in depth when I did my new starts, my birthday starts video. So I'm going to put that in a card. Do you notice I learned how to do cards? I see it feels so fancy. So I'm going to put that in a card. Up there somewhere. Right there. Um, but what she did, and this is amazing, and I'm going to briefly, is she took the Weeks Dye Works, like Weeks Dye Works, Kudzu, and made her own and said sub for Kudzu. Nancy, you genius. You genius. And somebody, I was watching someone's video. Oh, I know who it was. Kitten Stitcher. I'm behind, folks. Just letting you know. So it's something you probably watched three weeks ago. I'm just getting to it. I watched her video, and she was sharing her Victoria Motto Fabric of the Month. So I just signed up for that. Yeah. I did. So I'm thinking that might start this next month and I'll it'll get billed with my um, fabric of the month. Or no, gloss of the month. I think that's how that works. I'm not 100% sure. That's all my whips. So let's talk about plans. Plans. So plans. I am starting Rosetta tomorrow. Remember Rosetta was the would wannabe birthday, birthday start? And then I chose to start Hoity Toity instead. So Rosetta is getting started tomorrow. It is my last birthday start. Womp, womp. And it's going to get a few days in it. I think I had that one slotted for a few days. And then Hoity Toity is going to get a few days at the end of the month. And I may squeeze, and I'm going to squeeze in some more time with playing with Jacks because I'm loving that one right now. And I kind of want to get a little bit more before this month is over. Even though I think, like, it's more of a harvest. Like, it's not so much halloween -y. So I think it could even be going to November. So, um, in terms of meeting my 24 hours, so we have one, this will be a short week for Magical Stitches. It'll also be a short week because the first is on a Friday. It'll be a short week in Magical Stitches. This is the end of book six, which means we will start book seven on Friday. Um, so this will be a short week for homework. For that and Enchanted Stitching, I'm excited to see what movie we do for November for Enchanted Stitching Challenges. So, hey, if you've heard me chatting about it, um, Stitching Mommy is also part of it. Erin is who I heard from, Two Martini Stitcher. Um, come join us. I'm loving that, like, you can be as committed as possible. I'm going to tell you right now, um, I did the night level, so K-N-I-G-H-D which was 50 stitches in each project. Um, and once you've kind of, so the, kind of the way it works is they've got three levels of commitment. And in order to like achieve that for the month, you have to have every task in that amount. So I started out my first week and had a really heavy magical stitches week. And since it was also, that homework was released later, I'd already slotted some other projects that didn't fit those tasks. So I started this month with 50 stitches in each. So that's kind of what I've done all month. I haven't felt the need to do any of the royal amounts because I wouldn't get credit at the end of the month as saying I was royal level for everything. But I think for November, I'm going to start focusing on that 250 stitches on my projects trying to combine it with magical stitches, but I, I'm going to tell you, I love magical stitches. I have enjoyed my almost year in the group. Um, I joined in February, so I was fairly close to the beginning. Um, but there's something about enchanted stitching that just is jiving with me right now. And I think it has to do with that you don't... I f I'm a completionist. I want to do everything to the best to meet the task. So like this week, you only had to do three. I did all six. I don't think I'll get the bonus and that's fine. I already knew going into it that I was already stretching it with a project with a necklace. I, I was going to say Strawberry Time by Barbara Anna, but that's really the trim of her neck, of her dress. So I really was stretching it on that. I was fine with that. 
but I did all six. So I feel like their magical stitches is more rigid. Um, I feel like, you know, hey, if one week I can only get 50 stitches into each task or 30 minutes into each task because that's the lowest level of commitment, like that makes me feel like I've accomplished something. So like if I have a week where, okay, for instance, we're going to New York City right after Christmas, right at the end of the, the calendar year. That week I may only get 30 minutes in each project and that would be okay because there is that level of commitment. Um, so I would love to see if Magical Stitches is maybe going to shake things up. I don't think they will because that's not how Vicky runs things. And it's Vicky's group and she shouldn't have to change. So I also, uh, if you're not in Semi Sane Stitchers, you should be because they just released all of the activities for starting in January for all next year. And I'm pumped. I'm super pumped because this coming month, starting on Friday, is Stitchopoly. I enjoyed Stitchopoly so much when it was played earlier in the year, so I'm super pumped it's back. So much fun. Like, so much fun. So I'm excited about Stitchopoly. But they're doing around the world, and each month is a different country or a different place or a different area, and there's some tasks that go along with that. I don't think I'll be doing that one because in looking at the tasks, I don't have enough projects right now or even in my like stash, kitted or otherwise, just charts that fit enough of the task. Cause like month one is China. Now, if you have a lot of Asian pieces or things with like a peony was one of the things or uh, I can't remember what the other ones were. So I thought that was really cool. The other one that I like, it's a non counting event. They just wanna see active progress within a two week time period every two weeks they're doing it's called alphabet soup and so the first two weeks of the year is the letter a and you have to pick a project name or designer that starts with the letter a stitch on it over the course of those two weeks you show progress it's not a counting amount it's just like hey i did this and it's visible progress and so i love that because that will help me like blow through some of my whips now i'm gonna i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you there's some letters gonna be challenged so we shall see Okay, so plans um, for 24 hours of a cross stick to get that finished by Thursday. I have a f uh, hmm, about half my stitches left in Harvest Delivery to meet that task. I need a few more in Autumn Drum because I had a like 120 some on marked and I'm about halfway there on that. I have 120 scheduled for Rosetta and then I have 120 I'd like to put in Forget Me Not and that will finish out um, all of the tasks for a cross stick. So yeah. So let's talk about stash. So the first thing on my stash was my Artist Designs notebooks. I've shared those. They're awesome. I will link them below. Amanda May is amazing. She is a super creative, like, freaking awesome human. And she's so fun. And she somehow manages to stitch, like, in hand with pugs in her lap. And I'm like, the bomb. That's the bomb. Um, okay, so let's talk about stash. And I have this somewhat organized. So I, when I ordered my six inch Q-snap, I also chose to order another six, an eight, and an 11. And any of you that have been around for it, sorry for the crinkle, for any length of time will know that I will not use any of these as squares. I will take a six and an eight and make a six by eight, and an eight and 11 and make an eight by 11. So I actually didn't do this quite right because I really need another eight. I didn't do this right at all, but that's okay. We're gonna roll with it. Actually, I really don't because I think I have um, a corner assortment on an eight by eight and I don't like that feel of that eight by eight and I'm gonna rip that one apart and put it on the 11. So this and this will go together to make a six, two six by eights and then the eight and the 11 will go together to make two eight by 11. So that is greatly increasing my stash of Q-snaps. I do prefer Q-snap brand over like the ones that are at the big box stores. I will say Amazon had some really good prices this week. So I went ahead and stocked up since they had real good prices. Real good pricing. Where are we going next? What do we want to see next? We want to see some floss? Because we got floss, we got fabric, we got patterns and charts, and we got project bags. 
and we're 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 hitting almost the hour mark. So let's get moving. All right. So, did you ever know that you're my hero, Mrs. Seda? You're everything I wish I could be. Yep, I'm singing. I know some of you enjoy my singing, others they don't, that's okay. All right, so I placed an order for Mrs. Sados because I needed some for a project I'm kidding up. I also needed some for a new design. Um, and so for the new design, I went ahead and grabbed her new, this is Peacock. Oh, that is like so good. That's Peacock. It's a new one, a new named one. So it is considered, the variegateds have names. So just so you know, variegates have names. The numbered ones are considered her solids. But even her solids are like a sampler, sample variegate, sampler variegated, meaning they're like mildly variegated. So then I got, a, I got three from kind of the greens and aqua family. And this is 15, 23, and 6, and 36. Beautiful. So some variation of these, three of these, We'll be going to get two of these with this will be for a new pattern. Yeah, I'm excited about that. And then I also grabbed, because she now has, if you go to her website and you go to packs, you can pick a three, a six, or a ten, and then you just kind of in the notes write what number you want, and it's slightly discounted if you do it that way. Um, so I did a this a six so it got me the three those three solids and these three solids and then I ordered the peacock and so I got 19 20 and 21 which is her like a crew 310 black and then like a charcoaly gray these two I'm debating on these two and I may ask your opinion here in a minute so I'm actually gonna put these to the side because they go with something over here which I have not gotten to then, because Raquel is amazing, and she's my BFF, and she is just, like, the stitchy kindness queen, like, I don't know how to be more like her. Help me be more like her. She said, oh, I put in some little extra goodies for you. It's like, you just sent me hoity-toity. Like, you don't need to give me anything else. I need to give you more money. I need to throw more money your way. I hope those of you that have watched my hoardy twitty video, which like has like a lot of views, so thank you for watching, because I love shouting out my friend, my friend Raquel, who it's funny, my husband goes, now where does she live again? Because I think you need to meet up with her. It's like, okay, will you pay for me to meet up with her? He goes, I'll help you out. And I was like, okay, so you're sending me to Spain. <laughs> he goes, um, hmm, he goes, that might have been information I needed to know before I committed to helping. <laughs> but, oh well, okay. She sent me her Halloween set. So this is under the packs page as well. This is her Halloween pack. So it has this beautiful deep purple. This go this gorgeous. This is more of that same kind of orange that my husband's obsessed with because you know Astros. Which let me tell you, the first two games, it was the quietest he's ever been upstairs. I said, "Why are you so quiet?" He said, "Because we're getting killed." not quiet he ended up building legos during the second game because <laughs> he's just like i can't i can't i'm so bad i gotta do something else so he built legos okay so hopefully tonight is better hopefully tonight is better they're playing away they lost both games at home they are usually a pretty strong home team i don't know anyway and so then it's got this deep charcoal so three really pretty colors and a needle minder how cute is he so Raquel, thank you. Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you. One day we are going to meet. So when you, if you come to the U.S., you let me know and I'll make a way to get there. And if ever I'm in Europe, I'll let you know. Because my passport's expired. All right. So since I already have this out, I'm going to move into, one, I'm going to kind of segue a tiny bit. I'm going to come, I'm going to bounce back. So I ordered this bag quite some time ago. This is from So Much To Love. Let me grab that real quick, hold on. No, nope, that's not it. That's from somebody else. Okay, and so when you order from So Much To Love, she sends me a cute, she sends a cute little cello bag with some information, a tea, 
chocolate mint tea, and I love that it's called stash tea. And so this one has, and all of her bags have this precious little felt heart and the cute little jumbo rickrack. So this one has some bright butterflies. So this is going to be my next Kathy Barrick start when HL Moth is done, and it has turquoise and white. So this is a pattern that has a story behind it. Again, this is in video like four or five. I'll figure out which one it is and I'll pop it in a card also um, where I share about Kathy Barrick and a whole story about this pattern, but it's painted wings. So I am doing a Mrs. Sados conversion for painted wings. And as you can see, this is stitched in like a cream, a black, and about four different shades of green and one bordering a little more on a gold green. Well, I can't be satisfied with that. So I am stitching like the four greens and golds in these four colors of Mrs. Sados. Do I need to sing again? Oh, amazing. So those are my four. I don't know which is gonna sub in for which yet. And then this is gonna be my cream. That's my cream. And then what I am debating is do I go black or do I go charcoal? So I asked my husband occasionally for his input. Actually, it's more than occasionally. And he suggested using more like the charcoal, the Peter Gray. My thought was, okay, well, it calls for black. And, her, and Raquel's black is not as black. It's a little more um, like blackboard or one of the sampler blacks. This is not working quite right. So what do you think, black? I mean, in the viewfinder right now, or on my screen, I'm thinking that he might just be right, but shh, don't tell him, don't tell him I said that. Where'd it go? Oh, it fell off into no man's land. It's hot lava, that's what my daughter says. She plays the floor is hot lava. I found a shirt that said the floor is lava and I bought it for her. She doesn't know it's coming, but she plays this lava. So my Sado silk fell in the lava. Okay, uh, yeah, that's it. What do we think? Do we like that? So, if you feel like weighing in, tell me if you like the charcoal or the black. I'm gonna put them both in here. So they are in my So Much To Love pouch. They are on Etsy. I will link them in the description box because they are about to make another appearance as well. And so yeah, I got this one. This is my Painted Wings bag. Love it, right? Right. So with that came, because mm, Project Bags can't travel alone. And plus I saw this one and I had to have it. This is their France one or their Paris one. My Rick Rack has kind of gotten a little bunchy. It has a pretty little berry colored heart, has the bright Rick Rack, the fun cross hatched quilting fabric, good quality zipper. And then it has um, pink on pink polka dots on the inside. These are just great quality bags. So again, Facebook, Etsy, so much to love. Notice it's so, like S-E-W, and then the letter two, and then love is L-U-V. And it has the full pattern on the back. So yeah, love them. Love them. Okay, so there's still more, folks. What? Wait, there's more. All right, so last week I got before my video I actually received these, I just hadn't opened them. So these are my um, Victoria Motto Floss of the Month. This is my limited edition set. So we have Antique Pink Rose, October Orange, Nutmeg Hill, that's a great brown. Carriage Seat, another great brown. Oh, I love that. It's kind of, you can see it's got some good variegation in it. Over the River, Cornflower, blue color, and Sherry Pie. She's my cherry pie. There's a song for everything in my head. I'm not kidding. I uh, Somebody commented, oh, it's like a musical. You're like a musical. I said, well, I am like a walking musical every single day. True this story ever. You might not know when I'm going to bust. So these are the limited editions. Beautiful. Now the way Nancy does it is she has actually 18 for each. And you get either six, I think six is the least you can get. Six, 12, or all 18. I don't have room to get any more than six. For like two months, I got 12 of each, which was amazing, but I just don't have the room. Plus, she has a set she does off of her website 
plus she has an Etsy store. So these are the primitive, and I do six of the primitive. And this is golden wheat. Hold on. And it has some pretty variegation to it. I'll show them all in just a second. Ocean Mist, and she gave a DMC for this one, which is 3817. This one is Rustic Wood. Love that. Broomstick. Ooh, that one's good. Such a good fitting name. And I love these two. Together, I love these two. And this is Berry Tart and Arbor Roses. I couldn't read it backwards. I'm talented, don't tell them. Talented. And I thought these three actually were really pretty together. They just have such a sheen on it. Ooh, I didn't notice that. I love it. Oh, Nancy. So good. I wish I had more. I need to come up with more adjectives than insane, gorgeous. Jan Hicks uses scrumptious. I think that's awesome. But, like, as a daughter of a foodie, I can't use scrumptious. I just can't. Because that's for, that's, oh, pet the things. This one, okay, I am just now noticing. I mean, I just noticed it a minute ago, too. Duh. But like this, oh, Nancy. Okay, I love it, love it. And this is kind of a more rich set. Sometimes your primitives are not as rich. I do feel like she does a very good job matching, like giving you some that will go together. Also, very inspiring. All right, now, let's see where we're gonna go next. So I got a pattern. I, Trisha at Three Owl Threads posted this. And I, I love every pattern she's come out with, but I knew I had to have this one. And when she posted on Facebook, I said, me, me, please. Now. So I did get Bendy Stitchy and I got the SI1849, a reproduction. And I think this is amazing. Love it. These funky birds up here. Oh, so good. And it is stitched in uh, classic color works. Yes. Yes, Classic Color Works, One Week Style Works, or she gives you a full DMC. The only one she does not give a DMC is Gingerbread, but that is because Gingerbread does not have a good conversion. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to stitch this yet. I have no immediate plans. I'm loving this right here. No immediate plans to start this anytime soon. I clearly had 50, over 15 starts, 15 or so starts this month. I don't have time to start anything else right now. i got to get some finishes before the end of the year. And, um... So I don't know what I'll do. I might very well go into my Victoria Motto stash, see what I can pull, pull some of my samplers I have. So yeah, sampler threads. I'm excited about this one. This is awesome. Michelle, you're you're we're really rocking my world with some of your patterns. Your Hildy ones are so cute. I am not a Halloween stitcher though. Alright, so next let's go to some fabrics. Wanna do some fabrics? Let's talk about some mystic fabrics. So Misty is good friends with Tracy over at Ink Circles. So Tracy posted, this is one of her new ones, which is Aspen Mandala. And Aspen Mandala actually has a story behind it. And I'm wondering if the story is in the chart. Because I don't remember the exact thing, but there is something about, one moment, let me investigate if it is in here. It is not, but there is a large aspen like colony of trees that all somehow like grow off of the same root structure so while it looks like many individual trees it's actually one gigantic tree and so this was that was her inspiration for this that like the root system all becomes one and you've got this beautiful so it's stitched in gentle arts and um for the most part let's see it calls for four eight colors three of which you need two skeins of and so that would be the three that make up the aspen tree leaves well this is stitched on mystics fabric mystic fabrics winter solstice um and so i went ahead and asked misty if she had any winter solstice in stock she said what count i said you know what let's let's do something different so i got 36 count and this is winter solstice is that not gorgeous and it's really I think too big of a piece which is fine because I will find something else for it but it is beautiful I'm very excited this is another one I don't know when it's going to start but I could not pass up I love ink circles I love the story behind it it's got a unique story 
I like it when a designer comes up with something that has like a meaning to them and then it happens to be stitched on like my favorite designer fabrics. Yeah, it was a no brainer, no brainer. So we got another awesome Aspen Mandala with the Mystic Fabrics. All right, so then, Mystic, speaking of Mystic Fabrics, I got my fabric for the month. No, this is not, not right. That's not right. Um, she is towards the end of doing the um, Stitch Your Own Adventure Fabrics, and I had already purchased one from her. They are more like a three-quarter yard, so that no matter what count you, you get, it will be large enough. Excuse me. That was gross. Um, and so she said it's kind of last call. And... The one thing about them is they are very good neutrals. Um, all of the ones she dyed up for it are like parchment looking or scroll looking like really good neutral colors. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, and it's a great price. So I went ahead and snagged one off her website. She might still have some, but I think it's really gonna be the end of it. So it's her SYOA fabric. Um, and so it came in a pizza mailer. Done, done, favorite, favorite person ever sends things in a pizza mailer. By the way, it came on the same day that we decided we were having pizza for dinner. So it was like made to be. So I ended up going ahead and grabbing a 32 count linen. This is a huge piece, by the way. This is a 27 by 27 piece. Just wait, I'm still unfolding. It takes a minute. I can't even get it all in there. Look at that. Where'd I go? I'm behind this beautiful fabric. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what I'm using it for because I'm not stitching my own adventure. I've decided, you know what? I cannot join all the things. It looked awesome. I even bought all the floss. I gotta stop. I gotta like stop and think about it for a few days. But you know what? They had the 40% off. I'm a sucker for the 40% off buy online, pick up in store. But it's okay because the colors are actually pretty good, widely used DMC. They will get used. <laughs> We've got enough projects for them to get used. Okay, let's see. Where are we going to go next? Let's do... Oh, I know what I want to show. Wait, I gotta reach. Okay, so Erin told me I had to buy this. And when Erin tells you you got to buy something, you got to buy something. So Erin, to Martini sister... She didn't tell me, but I saw her with them. And I know also Michelle Bendy Stitchy uses them and I've been eyeing them. And I finally stepped out there and went, okay, I'm gonna get one. So this is gonna go with Play Jack, Playing Jack with, <sighs> Playing with Jacks. And I have my very first Bitsy Bob. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. So I went ahead and got this one. I liked a lot of them, but I really liked this one. I don't know why. I don't even like Halloween. I don't like anything. Well, so anyway, I pulled out my invoice and um, sweet, 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 sweet. Lovely. Said, I was one day late shipping, so I included some freebies for you. Like, that's great customer service, but not expected whatsoever. So, um, she sent me a precious pattern. A That's So Kelly pattern. Look how cute that is. So cute. And she even included the cute little blackbird, little black crow, and the little piece of baker's line. So cute. Love it. I will stitch that. It's pumpkin party. I'm getting all snuffly. Okay, so then, mind you, I ordered the plain Bitsy Bob. She gave me, like, the extra thing. I didn't order this. She gave me this. Like, dude, that's awesome. And then, it doesn't come with these. I went back and checked. It also, I don't think, comes with this. I'm not sure that it comes with this charm. So this has a cute little charm. And I got, I don't think these come with it. Maybe they do. Maybe one of them does. I got two of her floss cards, which I'd been wanting to order some. And then they were always out of stock or, you know, I just didn't, just didn't do it. Well, now I have two. So, yeah, there's another shop. I'm going to put it below. This is awesome. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. But, yeah, I'm excited to try this. That, that pattern has a lot of uh, color changes. 
And so I think this is going to come in super handy. And what do you know? I'll probably order some more. All right. So I still have some fabric and some project bags. So let's go with some fabric next. We're going to kind of go back and forth. So I, um, Crazy Annie's, I showed my Ada that I had gotten during the clearance sale. I went ahead and grabbed some linen as well. She was, I think there still is some left. And it's in their Facebook group, Crazy Annie's Stitching. I linked it in my last video, but I will link it again below. And, um... The prices listed are 25% off when they invoice you. It's while supplies last. It is all picture this plus, and there may even be some like large cuts left. If you find six or more, um, it's 30% off. So I found some linens. This one is Murmur. I actually did get this one in Ada as well. And so I got this one. It's reading a little more yellow, but it is more kind of peachy. But I love that. And this was a 36 count. And it's a fat quarter. I got this one also in a Ada. But I loved it so much that I snagged it. This is a 40 count in Fossil. Beautiful. And it's also a fat quarter. <laughs> this one is a 32 count. Also a fat quarter. And this is Velt. And I love this one. This one, the mock-up did not do it this justice. This is beautiful. I love this. Love it. Um, I have this one in an Ada as well. This is Mirage. This is a 36 count. I love it. This would probably be um, easier, like give a similar effect to stitching on like the darker colors, like the charcoals and stuff, but a little bit easier um, on the linen. And then I got, this one is only an eight, the Stitcher's eight. And this is a 28 count in ale. And so I love this piece. That's so pretty. I'm excited about these. So yes, I have some organizing to do this weekend to get all these beautiful linens pressed. Re, re, I don't know what I'm going to do because those are folded really pretty specifically. And as you can tell, unlike Ada's that kind of lose those folds real quick, the linens really take to that folding. All right, so then, because you know, I didn't already order two so much to love bags. I had to order this one. I saw it and I had to order it. And let me show you why. Look at this fabric. Okay, so again, we have the cute little heart. We've got the big rickrack, these cute weaves. Those are squirrels wearing red and white sweaters and little tiny acorn cap hats. show you again and in addition it also has snails oak leaves this tiny little worm mushrooms butterflies mushrooms run because there are some of these left and buy them buy it my gosh I cannot wait I don't even know what project is gonna go in here yet I have so many that could go in here I just don't know which one like bag of honor and then look at the inside oh, dying dying of cuteness <sighs> let's just pause moment of silence <sighs> there are just some things that just this is joy to me Joy. I know it's so silly. It's so silly that a project bag would do that, would make me that insanely happy. Like, but uh, squirrels wearing sweaters and acorn hats. That's so cute. Okay, I got more fabric. And then I got two more project bags. Okay, so I, as I've, hold on. Okay, my video is too long to go looking for it. Okay, so in my catching up of videos, I am just now catching up on September's uh, floss tube collaboration, which was focused on fabrics. Those are put on or are, are gathered and collected by uh, Cheryl at Tranquil Stitches. By the way, I love her videos. She has just the most calm, she really is Tranquil Stitches, like truly. 
Um, and I love that she had the brainchild. It was the brainchild of like this. Well, so Jan Hicks showing all the beautiful XU Designs fabrics. And I had seen, I'd stumbled upon XU like months ago when I was looking for something on Etsy. Something I clearly probably didn't need. Um, and I went ahead because I was on a linen kick and XU has beautiful linens. And I'm going to tell you what sold me first was this piece. This is a 19 by 13 inch 36 count Edinburgh in squirrel. Yes. Yes. All on Zweigert based. Base, excuse me. So then this is a 13 by 13 inch in orange kiss. And this is a um, 36 count Edinburgh. <laughs> Love it. And she ties them all with these delicate little things. By the way, this ship from Hungary, like that. Because I couldn't pass up. This was a 9 by 13, 32 count in squirrel. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I do think it's interesting to see how the 32 versus the 36 die up. And it's the same. I can guarantee you it's the same die. But it's just how the fabrics take it differently. I think that's so genius. And so interesting. Chemically. Okay, this is old blue. This is a 10 by 13 inch piece. This is a 32 count. Really pretty light blue. And then we've got this one I love. This is a 9 by 13 piece in Little Dove. 36 count. Her prices were great. These are small pieces. But I think it's great to sometimes have a smaller piece that's not your full quarter quarter yard um and then this is a 40 count newcastle in little bunny that's a 19 by 13 so this is a larger piece beautiful 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 cute little tags so i've got to figure out how i want to deal with the tags because i don't know that i want to st i might staple them to the selvage we'll see and then of course she has, she sends a precious little uh sussy which is a small ornament cut and this is a 40 count newcastle in green apple folded tied with a cute little string. All's Weigert base, beautiful fabrics, crisp, gorgeous colors, shipped insanely fast. Highly recommend Jan, Jan Hicks. Thank you for sharing and spending some more of my money on beautifulness. And they smell delicious too. They smell great. So now I just gotta find projects for all these things. So let me put those back in there. And we get two more project bags. And actually, I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not sure how these got here as fast as they did. I literally think I ordered these. I'm gonna tell you for sure because I'm gonna tell you right now. I really don't know. Like the postal service was on point. The shipper off of Etsy was on point. And these have always gotten to me fast. It's not close by. Um, but yeah. So I ordered these. on Tuesday night and they delivered today so diddly daddle designs posted um I just happened to be looking I had a I a repeat customer code and I happened to be looking around and I was like you know what? let me just see what they have see if they have anything new they kind of just don't let you know when they're gonna post stuff and so they posted these are I think a new idea for them I don't know that for a fact I'm kind of new to their company but these are called hand stitcher bags. So they are like intended to not be able to fit like a hoop or a frame or a Q-snap or whatever. So these are hand stitcher. So these are smaller bags, which I kind of like because normally, unless I'm planning to re-stitch on something, most of my fabrics get folded back or rolled or whatever and stuck back in the bag. So look at this one, acorns. But you can see it's smaller. So let me show it versus my other diddly daddle bag. Hold on one second. So this is my one that has playing jacks. And this is the little hand stitcher bag. So smaller profile, but still has the precious, awesome detailing. The back is all acorns. The inside is this adorable stripe with their tag. 
So I got this one. And what I find interesting is, is these are both hand stitcher bags, but they're not even the same size. But they're still both the smaller profile. And I got this one. I just could not. Buffalo plaid, woodland animals, squirrels. Buffalo plaid, squirrels, evergreens. Mind you, there's a squirrel and mushrooms on the macaron. And then red and white polka dots. So this one I think is going to house a Christmas stitch of some kind. And I just, I couldn't pass them up. And they're a little bit less, less expensive. I mean, the quality is worth it. I will continue to buy these. Um, and I will continue to buy this size. I do believe Diddly Daddle also has one that's got more of a, like a gusseted bottom. Um, but I don't ever carry that much stuff. Like this is perfect, but even still, with my six by eight Q-snap, I still have a ton of room in this back, a ton of room. So this will hold a six by eight, it will hold a small hoop, or it will just hold your piece and your flosses and your piece of paper. It will hold the small, like the smaller charts. So yeah, I'm excited about these. So yeah, um, so November is gonna have to be like a no buy. I mean, granted, I have subs to stuff, and mind you, I also am subbed to, I just signed up last week, and I think I talked about this, um, Slovak Farm, Hand Dyed by Slovak, does a project bag of the month. They are open still until the 1st. They do three different sizes, and one of their sizes is a 9x9, nine nine. it is an envelope style, so I'm excited to try that. Incredibly reasonably, reasonably priced. Um, they invoice on the first. They, she even asked me, like, I thought this was cool. She asked me, hey, any holidays you don't celebrate or anything that you don't prefer? And I said, I'm really not a huge Halloween fan. She said, that's why I asked because I'm not either. And I thought, okay, you're pretty awesome. So I'm excited. They do ask you to sign up for like three months worth, um, to commit for three months. Um, and so I'm excited to try those. And then I have, um... I should be getting my color and cotton from Threads and Entwine pretty soon. I'm doing the color and cotton that they do the floss club where you get them alphabetically. Um, I'm loving that. And um, my Victorian motto, I'm adding that fabric under the sea fabrics, mystic fabrics. And that's about it. So yeah, this has been a great week. And so, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of this movie. Please take care of your trash on the way out of the movie theater. And with that, I will see you next week, next Friday, for Floss Tube number 25. I hope you have a happy stitching week and that, you know, you find something cool, awesome, fun. Hey, if you're considering starting your own floss tube, please share and let me know and let me um, in on what your channel is so I can come and find you. I'm always looking for new people to get behind on watching. Yeah, so this weekend I have some plans to stitch, some plans to chillax, some plans to do a mountain of laundry, and yep, and organize some stuff. So with that, I'm going to leave you for this evening. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I hope you find some stitchy time for yourself this weekend, some time to take care of you and enjoy all the awesomeness that is to come. We're almost to the end of October. We're almost to end of my birthday month. Then we move on to November and then December when we have Christmas. So with that, I'm going to bid you farewell. Have a good one. Bye guys.